So we're given the equation y equals 3x plus 1. Kind of looks like this on this graph. We want to rotate this around our given line, which is x equals 4 in blue. And we're told that x is between 0 and 4. All right. Since we're rotating it around the x-axis, we're going to want to change our equation in, from in terms of y to in terms of x. So let's do that. So we have subtract 1 from both sides. We have y minus 1 equals 3x, and then divide by 3. So our new equation is x equals y minus 1 over 3. Okay. So now we want to know the radius. Actually, before we want to know the radius, we want to know how this changes. So when, when we want to know what our new thing is we want for what we're going to put in here, this box, the limits for y. So when x equals 0, y equals 1. Okay. So that means looking right here. And when x equals 4, y equals 13. Okay. All right. So now we want to know our radius. And our radius is equal to 4 minus our equation for our, um, our equation for y, but now we want it in terms of x. So r equals 4 minus y minus 1 over 3, which is the same as 12 minus y plus 1 over 3, or 13 minus y over 3. Okay. Right, so now we're going to set up our integral. We have from 1 to 13 of 2 pi, 2 pi r, which is 13 minus y over 3, oh, pink, times the square root of 1 plus, we want the derivative of 3x plus 1, so that's 3. Just, just kidding. We don't want this derivative. We want this derivative here. So the derivative of this equation, which was the same as 1 over 3 minus 1 third, comes out with just 1 third. Okay. And that squared. All right. So that's equal to, oh, dy. Can't forget your dy. Write that here, a little bit smaller, <laughs> hopefully. Yep, 1 over 13 of 2 pi, 13 minus y over 3, times the square root of 1 over 3 squared is 1 ninth, which makes this the same as 10 ninths. then becomes the integral from 1 to 13 of 2 pi. I'm going to pull out this 1 third here, so we have 13 minus y. And then I'm going to pull out, I'm going to separate this into the square root of 10 over the square root of 9. So that's just the square root of 10 over 3. So this is 10 over 3. 
So now let's pull out things we, some constants. So we have 2 pi, and then we have a 1 third here, and 2 pi square root of 10. 1 third and 1 third makes 1 ninth. So 2 pi square root of 10 over 9 times the integral from 1 to 13 of 13 minus y dy. Okay? So now, we're going to integrate this. So we have 2 pi square root of 10 over 9 is times the integral of 13 is 13y. The integral of y is y squared over 2. And that's from 1 to 13. So then we have 2 pi square root of 10 over 9. Oh, 13 y, just forgot to write that down, is, comes out to be 13 times 13 is 169 minus 13 squared over 2 is 169 over 2 minus 13 times 1 is 13. And then negative, and then this minus becomes positive. So we have just 1 squared over 2, so it's 1 half. So OK, so 169 minus 13 is 156, and then Minus 169 over 2 plus 1 half is minus 168 over 2. But 168 over 2 is the same as 84. So then we have 2 pi square root of 10 over 9 times 72. And 72 is 8 times 9. So we're going to use a different color. So then our final answer is 16 pi squared of 10.